What's up, everybody? I'm Cam. I'm Ryan. And, and you're, you're right, right on time. time. Now, you may be looking at us and wondering, why are Cam and Ryan in their jammies? So glad you asked. Today's show is all about bedtime. Yes, and today I brought a very special guest, my best bud. Twinkles. Oh, Cam, it looks like you and Twinkles have been through a lot. Oh, we definitely have. I've had her since I was three. That's a long time. Yep, she's a part of my nightly bedtime routine. And while we're talking about bedtime routines, it's time for our daily challenge. Oh yeah, this is the one that you didn't tell me about last time. Yep, so we're going to brush our teeth. <laughs> Easy. I do that every day, twice a day. Yeah, I'm gonna guess you don't brush your teeth like this. Uh-oh. So we're each going to choose from one of these, and we have no clue what's inside. Wait, and then what? Then we brush our teeth with whatever is inside. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty gross. No better way to find out than to jump right in. I am going to purple one. Okay. Oh. Wow. What is that? I do believe I have selected guacamole. <laughs> At least I hope it's guacamole and not wasabi. I guess we're going to find out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pick uh, this one here on the end. What is that? Is that I mean my first thought was honey mustard, but I don't know. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Big old helping on there. Oh. You first. I mostly just feel like I need some chips. This doesn't feel clean. It tastes pretty good. I feel like my dentist would be appalled right now. Mmm. Yeah, definitely honey mustard. I mean, you gotta brush the uppers and the lowers. Mmm. Mmm. Is this helping my cavity situation or hurting? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And that was equal parts uh, disgusting and kind of awesome. I mean, yeah, <laughs> mostly gross. Ah. Let's see what this last one would have been. Ooh, okay. Which one did we not choose? Is that like it's sprinkle frosting. frosting? Should we should we brush with that one to get rid of the taste of the first? I would, but I think my toothbrush is too guacamole. We're gonna have to get a fresh toothbrush. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. You know, after you brush your teeth, I don't know what you usually do, Ryan, but I like to sleep with some nice peaceful lullabies playing in the background. Oh well, yeah. I mean, if I don't have music, I can't sleep. Well, then let's get to it. Wasn't that so 
so fun. Brian? Brian! Whoa, 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 what, 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 what did I miss? <laughs> you really have a gift. Whoa, whoa, what, what kind of gift? You can fall asleep anywhere. Wait, did I fall asleep again? Oh, you didn't even know. That seriously is a gift. Well, I'm, I mean, you have gifts too, Cam. Oh, like what? Oh, uh, you, I'm, you're really fun to be around. You're super kind to other people. Oh, and you have that one talent where you can braid hair with your eyes closed. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You know, we all have gifts. Maybe we can't all braid hair, but we can definitely all be kind. When was the last time you had a crazy dream? You know, the kind of dream that seems so real you wake up drenched with sweat, swinging at the air because you barely escaped the grip of a giant tarantula who was carrying you off to your doom? I don't get why we dream or understand what dreams mean, but God gave Joseph a special gift. He could tell other people what their dreams meant. Up to this point in his life, helping people understand their dreams had only gotten Joseph into big trouble. But there was a situation in prison where he knew he could use his gift to be kind to others. You see, there was a baker and a wine taster who made Pharaoh so mad he had them thrown into prison with Joseph. We don't know if they burned the brownies, or spewed the wine across the room, but they had obviously messed up. Sadly for them, there was one night in prison where they both had bizarre dreams they didn't understand. The next morning, Joseph could tell they were upset, so he asked them what was wrong. They began to tell him about their dreams, and little did they know, they were telling the right person. Joseph knew that each dream had a meaning, one being good and one being bad. The wine taster's dream was all about a vine and some branches and grapes, but it was good. Joseph told him it meant that he would be released from prison. But the baker's dream had something to do with birds eating bread from a basket on top of his head. Unfortunately, that meant he would die very soon. Even though the baker's dream was bad, Joseph was kind enough to tell him the truth. Think of it this way. Imagine you and a friend are playing catch in the backyard when all of a sudden, you accidentally throw a baseball through your neighbor's window. You could pretend it never happened, or you could show kindness to your neighbor by telling them what you did, even if they might get upset. Joseph used his gift to show kindness to the wine taster and the baker. God gives us gifts too. We may not be able to predict the future or interpret dreams, but we each have something unique we can do at just the right time when someone needs it. God wants us to love being kind. Look at Joseph using the gifts God gave him to help people out. God has given each of us gifts and talents that he wants us to use to show kindness and love to others, just like Joseph did. You know, something really stuck out to me about Joseph's story. The baker and the wine taster didn't do anything for Joseph, but he used his gifts to help them out anyway. I mean, the baker could have at least baked him a cake or something, but that was a true act of kindness on Joe's part. Well, I think that's what kindness really is, don't you? You know, I think you're onto something. I mean, my little sister doesn't do anything for me when I braid her hair. In fact, she drives me crazy most of the time, but I still braid her hair before school in the mornings. Exactly, and God showed us kindness when we didn't deserve it either. Yeah, we heard about that last week week. But what is the other word the Bible uses for kindness? Was it uh, merci? Oui, oui. No, no. Merci is French for thank you. Oh. No, mercy is what you're thinking of. Oh, here, let me refresh your memory. When you hear the word mercy, you may think of the mercy rule in sports. You know the one where the score keeps ticking up for one team and the other team doesn't have a chance? So they end the inning or the game to keep the other team from getting clobbered. To say you're going to show someone mercy is just another way of saying you're going to forgive them or be kind to them even though they don't deserve it. A baseball team may not deserve to have an inning end before they get three outs, but out of kindness, the mercy rule kicks in. And this idea of showing mercy shows up all over the Bible too. Like in Micah 6.8, it says, The Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what He requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. God wants us to not just show mercy, but to love showing mercy to others. He knows that being kind to someone, even when they don't deserve it, will make us feel way better than being mean or not forgiving them at all. And you want to know the number one reason we should love showing mercy to others? Because God was kind to us and showed us mercy when we didn't deserve it. Everyone has sinned 
And those wrong things we've done hurt our friendship with God. But God loves to show mercy. So he fixed our relationship with him by being kind enough to send his own son to take the punishment for our sins so that we could be completely forgiven. So mercy is being kind. And since God was so kind to us, let's love being kind to others. To love being kind to others means we've got to love others even when it's hard. Even when they drive us crazy. And even though they may never be kind in return. And when you think about how kind God has been to us, even though we don't deserve it, it makes it a little easier to show kindness to others. Ryan, what's something kind that someone has done for you lately? Hmm. Well, the other day, I was working on a song I've been writing, and I FaceTimed my friend to play it for him. He could have been doing a million other things, but he was kind, and he took the time to listen. Yes, listening. That's such a kind thing to do. And that's a great idea for a game we can all play. All right, let's do it. We're going to listen to some sounds you might hear at nighttime when you're trying to go to sleep. We'll all listen together, and then we'll shout out our guesses when we think we know what we're hearing. We'll only have 10 seconds per sound, so make sure to listen really carefully before you make your first guess. All right, it's time to get started. What's that? Uh, Definitely something you'd, you'd hear at night, like something outside in my, the trees? My mom, when somebody wakes her up in the middle of the night. Uh, well, I'm not sure if she hoots exactly like that. <laughs> Let's see. So I think the correct answer for that one was... Owl! owl. <laughs> uh, because owls are nocturnal. You'll really only hear them after the sun goes down. Okay? All right. Time for the next one. Okay. Oh man, this sounds like like a like a fountain or something. Like uh, I guess it sounds like My white noise machine. White noise machine, yeah. Um, like water, I guess. Like uh, I guess the answer was Running, running water. water. There you go. Sometimes all right. Sometimes at night I like to dream that I'm sleeping under a waterfall and, and then I wake up and it's usually just my dad flushing the toilet. Okay, next sound, please. <laughs> oh, that's definitely something you'd hear out outside your window. Mm -hmm. Like a bug or something. Is that? You got it? Is that? Crickets chirping. Crickets chirping. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, how'd you guys do? I'm sure they smashed it. Great job, friends. All right. Just like Joseph listened to his fellow inmates' dreams, one of the kindest, most merciful things we can do is just listen to others. I wonder if one of our friends has a story we can listen to. Share about a dream you have for the future. Hmm. I have a dream that one day, everyone would show love to one another, no matter what they look like, talk like, dress like, or even act like. My dream is that everyone would follow Jesus' example of how we should act towards one another. In my dream, every person in the world would love showing kindness to those around them. My dream is that we could all forgive each other when we mess up. And I know that all of this would start with me. That dream is on fire. And that's not the only thing on fire around here. You know it. It's time for Rapid, Rapid fire, fire Review. Yes. One of us is going to recap everything we've learned today in one minute or less. But there's a catch. While one of us is reviewing, the other one is going to be throwing things. If the reviewer is able to name six things we've talked about today during that minute, the thrower has to put their hand in the mystery box. But if the reviewer doesn't name at least six things during the minute, they have to put their hand into the mystery box. And since today is all about bedtime, the box probably has something to do with your nightly routine. Interesting. I just hope it's not more honey mustard toothpaste. Ugh, I don't think I can do that again. Well, I guess one of us will find out soon enough. Let's play a game to see who goes first. Okay. I'm thinking of a number between one and 10. Mm, I'm going with the number of night lights in my room. Let's see if you know how many that is. Wait, I think I know that actually. It's two, right? It has to be. Oh man, Cam, you're so close. I have three night lights. Oh, bummer. Who has that many night lights? Hey, give me a break. I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I win over, you win. Which do you choose? Well, I'm gonna review. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Here we go. 
All right, first things first, uh, we learned about being kind. Uh, we said that we should love being kind. Uh, to say it straight from God's word, it says to, to love mercy. Uh, we broke down Micah 6, 8 a little bit more and talked about what God tells us. Uh, he tells us what is good and tells us all about mercy and justice. Uh, we looked at everything that has to do with nightly routines, you know, bedtime. Uh, we sang, I fell asleep when it was over because good singing and dancing really wears me out. Uh, then there was the game where we listened and the story from the Bible and the story from our friend. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that covers everything. And th that's it, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> oh, you were so stinking good at that game. Thanks, Cam. And you know what that means. Okay, give me that mystery box. Hmm, <laughs> this is tricky. And it feels kind of soft, but also a little sticky. You know, I don't think it'd be something you eat because you don't eat right before bed. It's also pretty liquidy, so I'm going like shampoo or, or soap. I'm gonna go with shampoo. Okay. Oh, you almost got it. It's bubble bath. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nothing like a good bubble bath with your rubber ducky to get you ready for bedtime. And one more thing you do before you go to sleep at night, say those bedtime prayers. Hey everybody, we learned some really awesome things today. And I wanted to pray for all of us so that we'll remember to love being kind to others. Father God, thank you for loving us and thank you for giving each of us gifts. Help us use those gifts to show kindness and mercy to others, even if we never get anything in return. You're the best and we love you, amen. I'm gonna be praying that prayer again for sure. You could say that again, but we don't have time right now because it's time to find out about next week's challenge. Oh, I'm always so excited for this part of the show because I love finding out the challenge. The anticipation is always so hard. You know how you actually have to wait before we can do the challenge? Right? Interesting. Good interesting or bad interesting? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but uh, you may want to start practicing. Oh, this is gonna be epic, but you're right. I gotta go prepare. 